All right, so what's the new evidence now? A satellite photo near Sao Paulo. All right, this I want to see. Let's take a look at that. Uh, it was taken by NASA, and uh, it caused some immediate concern amongst the environmental community. All right, first blush, it looks like a giant oil spill, right? That was the fear, yeah. You know, there's a lot of offshore drilling along the Brazilian coast. Fortunately, though, it turned out to be a swarm of microbes known as Marionecta rubra, and uh, they're not hazardous to marine life. Why was this brought to your attention, then? Well, during the initial investigation, the agent who was studying the swarm uh, noticed something out in the water. OK, kind of a speck. Yeah, well, it, yeah, at this resolution, it's a speck. When they zoomed in, though, they got this. It's a little fuzzy, but I'd say that's a shark. And not just any shark. If you look at this other satellite photo I brought, it was taken at the same resolution of a school bus yard in nearby Sao Paulo. Now, those are 40-foot buses. And when you compare them next to the first photo, I'd say that's a 70-foot shark. All right, let's ask the obvious first question here. Do you really think that this is the same animal that was spotted two months earlier on the other side of the ocean at Cape Verde? Well, look, that's a 3,000-mile trip. And you know, it sounds like a lot, but great whites have been tracked going 1,500 miles in a month. So for Megalodon, that would be nothing. Also, sharks are known to revisit old haunts. Uh, great whites, for instance, have been tagged leaving the east coast of the U.S., going on a random winding trip through the North Atlantic, and then returning a year later, almost to the day, to the same spot that they were tagged. So similar behavior from Megalodon makes complete sense. If, indeed, this is Megalodon.